up everybody how you doing today I'm doing pretty well thank you for asking well today is the big day I'm finally going to pick up my other replacement new wheel and by replacement I don't mean I'm getting this for free I mean I'm having to buy it So, oh, I got about a 20 mile drive from Paris, Tennessee to Murray, Kentucky. The bicycle shop is called Gear Up Cycles. Gear Up Cycles. Now, I didn't go there in the first place because I went to the bike shop where I got my Raleigh because I wanted to give them some business. So I went there and that's where I got the wheel and my chain ring and the cassette and the chain and the chain breaker tool. If you watched my other videos, you know all that. I bought my GT Pantera Comp at Gear Up Cycles. And I've only given him a little business since, you know, getting a wheel trued uh, maybe once or twice and that was really about it. So I went back there. Uh, a few days back and I had him get me a had him order me a wheel I don't know the actual brand of the wheel I don't remember what he told me but when he told me the name it sounded familiar so it is an actual name brand wheel uh, it's an actual more of a mountain bike wheel it, he said it's a little wider a little stronger than what came on the rally and and uh, and the new one that I just put on in July that's already busted. Uh, he said it's a lot. He said it's quite a bit stronger than they are. So that's what I'm doing today, and we'll see how that goes. And I also have to buy a new tube because all the tubes I have have the standard valve and not the whatever the other one is that I don't like Presta or I don't remember you guys know what it is anyway just doing a little video on my trip and uh, I hope that I can get him to give me the specs on the wheel so I can put them in the video um, I don't remember the width of my wheel if it was 130 or 135 so I want to make sure that I get that and that's really the main thing that I'm concerned about the stock wheel uh, the stock wheel as far as the I guess the rim part was uh, is a 40 millimeter if I'm not mistaken uh, so hopefully this one's gonna be a little bit wider and stronger like he says so yeah anyway off we go guys Let's do this. We'll see you at the bike shop. Let me do that in slow motion. Slow motion time. Ready? I'll see you at the bike shop. Alright guys, I'm at the bike shop just picked up my wheel and a new tube with the proper valve I'm such a big boy so what we have is this right here Now I can tell you that from feeling the wheel it's definitely a, a little heavier feeling it's wider um, it is it does have a uh, 
hub width or whatever width you want to call it. I'm sorry, I'm not real good at that, but uh, uh, of 135. And I believe the internal is the inner rim width is 25C and something about the recommended tire selection width 42 millimeter to 62 millimeter uh, whatever all that is ETRTO rim size 584 by 25 so yeah anyway you know how you have to have the proper size of hub or whatever to fit inside your dropouts I guess that's the 135 uh, I wasn't sure if I had a 135 or 130 I'm hoping that that's correct I hope I get home and it fits if not <laughs> uh, but I, hopefully it will and I got a proper tube yep with the old press the valve and it'll probably go flat within a week so anyways with tax and all labor all that good stuff uh, cost of the wheel cost of the tube I got out of there with a one hundred thirty five dollars and sixty eight cents sorry I'm having trouble reading and a little slow there but these glasses are more for distance not up close so there we have it guys new wheel All good. I'll get home. Well, first I'm going to go and get some lunch real quick. Then I'm going to drive all the way back home. And hopefully this all works out. I'll keep you all posted with the video. Guys, let's go get something to eat. Alright guys, what's up? I'm finally home. Had some Taco Bell. I'll insert a picture right about there somewhere good stuff home got the wheel ready to go got tire ready to go let's just get the bike ready to go tube And also, I've informed Mrs. Mikey Son that I need a bike stand for Christmas. So hopefully, she'll remember that. Because I need a bike stand. And I wish this was a smaller version. I don't like these. I don't like these valves at all anyway. I just think they're cruddier valve. My opinion. It's not a very popular opinion. I do this different from a lot of people too. I put my tube on. Why? Because I can.
pretty good, pretty quick and painless so far. And yes, I need a real pump. Yes, I know, a real pump. I'm gonna speed this up. I can see why women complain now. Now, what I like to do is get it mostly aired up to where it's still a little squishy. And I like to go out on the road and just let it kind of roll. In my opinion, it kind of sets the tire and kind of makes things level and even. It probably doesn't, but it might. And that's what I've always done. So I'll be back. All right. Good quick back and forth in front of the house. Good to go. I think the tire is nicely placed on the wheel now. Oh yeah. Let's air this bad boy up. So yeah, anyways, I told the wife I need a, a bicycle stand. I found one on Amazon for like $75. It's got tons of good reviews. It'll probably be good enough for me. Um, I also need a new uh, rack, car rack, uh, bicycle rack for my car. I bought one February 2016 whenever I went to pick this thing up. Uh, and well, it's pretty much dry rotted. Uh, some of the stuff and and some of the one of the straps are kind of broken. It's kind of rigged up. And and the reason it got like that really quick is because I left it on the car. I just left it on there, and so you know the elements, the heat, the humidity, the rain, snow, all that stuff, kind of took its toll on it. So. Yeah, so I'm going to get, hopefully, I'm going to tell her that and get that maybe for my birthday or, or maybe another Christmas present. Who knows? I'm mainly excited about getting a stand because I can't work on my bikes hardly. Uh, not just because it's difficult to move them around, but because my back is so bad that trying to do anything at all, it just, it takes all the fun out of it. Um... Like, it just hurts too much. And, I really need a good floor pump, or track pump, or whatever you want to call them. A big old pump. Although I do have one, but it's made for the standard type valves. Schrader? Made for the Schrader valves? It has been fifteen days since I've ridden this bike. It's been down that long. I've only done like I think about three trail rides here at my local trail on my GT since then. Uh, I've walked around the trail once. I've walked the trail, walked the trail again. So I haven't done a whole lot. But it did give me the excuse to get my trail bike out. Like I've said before, I don't do a whole lot of trail riding because I'm not totally crazy about the kind of trails we have here in town, or not just in my town, but uh, just basically in West Tennessee. Uh, most of them that I that I've ridden on over in LBL and around the lake and stuff like that, it's just like going through the woods. Uh, to 
to me it's just that's not as much fun um, I personally would like to have more of some flow trails and some fun stuff and you know some ups and downs and some this is and that's it's and all these good things that's what I'd like to have <coughs> And that's one reason that I didn't spend any more money on a trail bike than what I did for the GT Pantera Comp. It does pretty much everything I need. Now if I lived in a different area and where there was different trails and that that I'm talking about, I'd probably have to step it up a bit either a full suspension or, or or something with with the GT you know better wheels or something you never know but uh, you know for just my normal trails that I've ridden on that's fine I think it's enough oh my gosh oh my gosh I think that ought to do it. Uh, so there we go. WTB The old rally, she's ready to go back on the road. I don't know if I'm going to ride today. <sighs> I don't know. I may ride tomorrow. Uh, it just depends uh, on how I feel. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little journey. I hope this will last longer than a couple of months. Because honestly, I really don't have the money to keep doing this. So I'm glad my wife understands the, you know, the problems. <laughs> Other than that, man, guys, I should be okay. Everything should be good. Well, this video is long and drawn out enough, and I apologize for it, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, I don't have any monetization on my channel. I don't have any ads on my channel that I'm aware of. If I do have anything like that, let me know. Let me know. So, uh, yeah. I'm out of here, guys. We'll see you on the road either today or tomorrow. But very, very, very soon. So get up. Get up. Get rad. Do it to it.